Let's watch this now. So this is planting documents. I want you to think when you see 666 linked to Bill Gates and nanotech fucking robots, fucking graphene, turn your brain to jelly and then zap you with the 5G. All right, zombies. Could they have planted that to fucking stir us up? Maybe it is real. I mean, they got some pretty crazy shit out there. But do you think in the grand scheme of things, knowing what we know, like Adam Curtis, destabilized perception, it's not about winning the war. It's about a constant state of destabilized perception, constant anxiety, constant frustration, endless issues, police killings, school shootings, drag queen story time, war with Ukraine, bioengineered weapons, monkey pox, and they just keep firing and firing and firing and firing. We know the routine. Why won't the internet stars push this? Narrative. They won't push it. They just tell you the next issue and the next issue and the next issue. They're not teaching you how to catch fish. They're selling you fish. They won't teach you how to think for yourself and understand how the system works so you can think and act on your own. They won't do it because, let's face it, they're more than whores. It's more than e-begging. They're fucking employees. They're absolute employees. We should have proved that easily by now. So this is how you plant documents. These are the links Czech intelligence with the KGB went to try to break up NATO. This is a great documentary, by the way. It's called uh, The KGB Connection. You can find it online very easily. Deception game, and that's what it is. Our boy Yuri, Yuri. Minov is a former KGB agent. The fighting war on the battlefield is the most stupid and primitive way of fighting a war. Just please remember this guy's words. He's everywhere. Even the New York Times has pushed him. That's how worried even the scummy New York Times is. America, you're in deep, deep trouble. This guy's got to be a hero. Joseph McCarthy's got to be a hero. You're in deep, deep trouble. If we focus on the right issues, maybe we can get out of it. The highest art of warfare is not to fight at all, but to subvert anything of value in your enemy's country. And distract traditions, religion, respect to your authority and, and leaders, uh, cultural traditions, anything. Put white against black, old against young, uh, I don't know, wealthy against poor and so on. Doesn't matter. As long as it disturbs society, as long as it cuts the moral fiber of a nation, it's good. Drag queen story time. It's all fake. The LARPers, the crisis actors, it's technology, it's clear force and dozens. We need to get lists. It's not just technology. That was just one. Where are all the Israeli operations? We don't talk about it because no one discusses it. And then you just take this country when everything is subverted, when the country is disoriented and confused, when it is demoralized and then destabilized, then the crisis will come. Within the KGB is a department oh, that specializes come. in planting false stories and forged documents to... False stories and forged documents. I want you to remember this. Think for yourself. Not saying the 666 5G zapping graphene nanobot zombie technologies in there. I'm saying you need to think hard before you click that. Look at this link. We're all going to die before you send it. Think about it. Distort others' perception of reality. It is the department that deals in disinformation. Forgeries. Agents of influence. Agents of influence planting false stories. Department A of the KGB set up and controls the disinformation department of Czech intelligence. Ladislav Bittman was deputy director of that department when he was with Czech intelligence. Uh, it can, this information can have a variety of forms. Basically, uh, an information deliberately misleading that is leaked through a variety of channels to the opponent to deceive him, to, de to deceive the decision makers in the United States or Germany or Britain, or it can be a disinformation to deceive uh, the public opinion around the world or in a specific country. You got to be fairly good at this when you were with Czech intelligence, didn't you? Un unfortunately, I have to admit, yes. <laughs> One of Bittman's audacious schemes was to recover phony Nazi storage chests from a Czechoslovakian lake. The chests were filled with genuine Gestapo and SS documents supplied by the KGB 
and specifically chosen to rekindle animosity towards the Germans decades after World War II. And I was a member of the diving team. And when I talked with few people in the service about this, we came to the conclusion that this is a very good opportunity to play, play a dirty game against West Germany, that we would actually put something on the bottom of the lakes and make it a big discovery. So we prepared uh, several German chests. Supposedly they were thrown into the lakes by Germans who were just fleeing Czechoslovak territory. The cases were brought from the bottom in front of television cameras. The documents were then displayed in an elaborate press conference aimed at weakening the solidarity of the NATO allies. It was quite successful in Italy, in France, in Austria. The press of these countries published them and basically the tone was anti-German. Look what these German bastards did to us during the war. And, may, and there are so many who are still living in Germany. Who are the major targets of the disinformation campaign that you were waging? I understand there was two or three major yeah. targets. Well, uh, the target number one is, of course, the United States. Uh, it is called the enemy number one, or the main enemy. It's in always used in that, that word. That is the official term for the United States. Then the second major target was the NATO alliance. And the goal was, the objective was, to work toward the dissolution of NATO with the hope that after some few years the, 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 the tension within the organization would reach such a uh, stage, such a level that NATO would stop existing. Uh, does that resonate with you at all? It was what said, does that resonate with you? These are the levels are going into. Do you understand Julian Assange, Edward Snowden now? What was it for? To get the United States to wear it down, take away its power, get it out of Eurasia, get it out of Afghanistan, multipolar world order. Is this the fight back? Is the United States fighting back? Is that why it's in Ukraine? Did they set it up? Probably. 